Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Seed. Today we're reading for, uh, let's do Scorpio and Taurus. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get into it. First thing I'm hearing is sabotage. That's what I'm hearing. Big, biggest day, sabotage. Someone is trying to sabotage you in ways that you may not expect, okay? So let's tap in and see what's up. What are they trying to sabotage? What are they trying to sabotage? They're trying to sabotage your purpose and your honesty, okay? So I feel like you might be a person that's honest. It might be too honest to a fault, all right? Um, and they see this within you or they see this with you and they're trying to sabotage that honesty and that purpose. So basically, it's like they're trying to set you up to be something or portray you to be something that you're really not. All right. Now, why are they trying to come for this person's purpose? Why are they trying to sabotage this person's purpose? Why are they trying to sabotage? this person's purpose somebody may have loose loose stools diarrhea from all i'm hearing somebody's taking a lot of medicine or a lot of pills and the pills are starting to alter or starting to fluctuate their body okay man all right so i'm gonna try not to let this get underneath my skin because <laughs> i just i can't stand it i just can't stand dumb shit and weird shit i just can't <laughs> All right, so someone is trying to purposely sabotage your confidence or your new journey. They do not like that you are very confident. They do not like that you're you're fearless. They don't like the fact that you're a very enthusiastic person. Like I said, it goes hand in hand with your honesty. Like you're a person that's big on integrity, and they just don't seem like they may they may look at you as like a goody two shoes. They may look at you as a know it all here. All right, that's their perception of you, okay? It doesn't have to be true, but that's just how they perceive you. Um, the Six of Wands is here, so someone feels very defeated or they feel lost, okay? Because like I said, they try to sabotage your purpose, but they are in defeat or they feel disappointed or in loss because whatever it is they were trying to do did not work. So what were they trying to do? They were trying to manifest like or create havoc into your world with the magician card and the queen of pentacles so you have someone that is highly jealous of you you just being you being pretty looking pretty sitting pretty looking handsome smelling handsome whatever okay to god residence but someone don't like that you're in your essence someone don't like that you're in your life okay so they're doing things to throw you off your square knock you off your square they're doing things to make you seem less honest okay they're trying to make you look very um like a bad person or a bad guy they're trying to get people to work to turn against you all right they don't like your confidence your confidence kills theirs <laughs> well they ain't got nothing but <laughs> They don't like these new changes that are um, exhibited exhibited within you. If you're going through some changes, that's the death card. So they have a fear of change or they're holding on. To be honest with you, <laughs> man, child. Somebody is depressed. They are depressed over your confidence. They're depressed over your confidence. I'm trying to make this make sense. I'm trying to make this compute properly in my mind that someone can be jealous of someone's confidence and honesty and purpose. Why are they doing this? There's definitely some um, childhood, childhood traumas that needs to be dealt with here. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. They don't like that you're facing your north node. Like I said, it feels like you have changed. So the uh, star bathing card is here. 
with activation moving forward, ascending to greater and better uh, opportunities and new heights, okay? Then we have the great severing here, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. So this person is very anger, angry at you. They definitely exhibit a lot of energy around the Mar Mars energy or may carry a lot of Mars energy, all right? Um, yeah, so we have the uh, surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Venus represents like love, beauty, um, also generational wealth as well too. And they don't want you to, um, they don't want you to be in that revolution energy. They don't want you to be happy with life. They don't want you to feel pleasure, pleasure. And I don't mean pleasure like set in a sexual way, just pleasure, just like from the everyday, day-to-day -day life, like, right? Like driving or having dinner, you know, just being happy, right? And this person doesn't want you to be happy. They want you to be malnourished. So we have the nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. They want you to feel malnourished. They don't want you to rest. Um, <clears throat> we have a new earth here. It's happening. Hold the vision. Okay, so whatever it is that you're working towards or if you're working at a job, whatever it is your goals and your aspirations are, it's coming through. Okay, so whatever it is that they're trying to do is being stopped. The void, stop, embrace winter, the great cosmic moon. This person really just trying to cause unnecessary havoc in your life because they don't like your honesty and they don't like that you're in your purpose. Y'all bitches gonna have to cry a river and, 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 and fucking swim over it or swim through it. <laughs> so Spirit wants you to have a positive outlook, all right? Don't worry about this person, the four of cups, or you can do a return, a return to sender, all right? Um, yeah, lost opportunity, ace of pentacles. You might not be speaking to this person. All right, they may not have any money. They may be insecure, financially insecure. They may have a scarcity around their money. Somebody's losing their house. Somebody's losing their car. <laughs> might have to move in with family members. Confession. That's the confession here with the seven of swords. They have to move into with family members. You may receive a call about that dependence and can't make you shit up we have the empress in reverse dependence so somebody has to depend on other people to help them get by um we have the wheel of fortune here with uh in, in reverse so it's a lot of bad luck and a lot of disappointment if i were you i would not let this person in my house let them figure it out on their own they just have a a, 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 a dark energy around i've been just reading i've just been picking up on a lot of dark readings lately okay oh somebody actually let me see if it'll pop back up. All right, let's see. Um, but I saw, one of the cards that I saw was that there was the person that they may be reaching out to, asking for like help or can they stay, whatever the case may be, they're actually starting to kind of like side eye this person, so they're really not sure. Um, they're probably asking, you know, certain questions. Yeah, disappointment, bad luck, because person is just is they're just a big pile of bad luck a big pile of shit of disappointment and every time this person comes around we have the eight of cups abandonment disappointment they will disappoint you energetically disappoint me so this person has like a a sunken energy a dark energy where anybody that's around them they just kind of like suck it's like a vacuum all right and if you're a person that might have love might be in a relationship uh, you might have fulfillment. I would highly advise not to have this person around you. Don't give a fuck who it is. Uh, it don't matter who the fuck it is. Don't let nobody come into your perfect life, into your happy home, and mess with anything. Let them figure it out. So some of you guys might be in a relationship, the lover's card. You might have to ask your significant other if this person can come stay with you. With the tempers in, rever in reverse, this person is very extreme, like I said. So I would not, listen, we have the, um, we have three of pentacles in reverse here. And that represents like, um, you know, togetherness collectiveness and things like that and i really feel like if you let this person come in your house they may do some really off the wall weird ass shit to manipulate or sabotage your connection i would not let this person nowhere near you nowhere near your connection this person is going through what they're going through for a reason they know exactly why they're going through what they're going through 
and you need to let them go through it by themselves. Yeah, stuck at home, indecision, delayed plans, fear of change. Somebody is losing their house. Somebody is losing their car. They cannot afford any of that stuff. The basic stuff, they cannot afford it. They cannot. And they're coming to you to ask you for help. I can't tell you what to do. I can advise and I can highly suggest. But Spirit is saying, again, to not allow this person to come anywhere. Your home, your car, your, like nowhere. Don't allow this person to be nowhere near you at all. Because you're going to feel the remnants and you're going to feel the pulling or the sucking that this person has around them. And you're going to get sucked, sucked up. The feet is here with five of swords. You're going to get sucked up with their... Uh, with whatever it is that they got going on at this moment, okay? So that's a warning to you to be to use your discernment. You you already have self-doubt with the strength card. You have a lot of self-doubt as to um if you want this person to stay or not. Listen, man. Ten of Wands. Learn to say no and be okay with it. If it's family members, no the fuck. You cannot stay with me. Well, I, I don't give two flying fucks what you did because as a child, right? Because a lot of parents love or family members in, in general, they love to project onto you or they love to make you feel bad when you say no. So you have to learn how to stick to your guns. If you say no, right? You got to learn how to stick to your guns and be very unapologetic about it because... I feel like this person could be a mom, a, a, a brother, an aunt, a cousin, whoever that is losing everything. They love to emotionally manipulate you to make you feel bad about yourself. This person could definitely be a high-blown narcissist as well, too, where they kind of flip the script and make it seem like it's your fault and not theirs, okay? So they do a lot of victim mentality or victim blaming, okay, or victim shifting. All right, so just stay up out of that energy and let them figure it out what they need to do. Like I said, King of Pentacles, they broke. Uh, they're greedy. They're an extortionist. They are corrupted, okay? They don't have good energy to them, all right? Move on. Do not, don't pick up the phone. Don't email. Don't text. Nothing. Let them figure it the fuck out by themselves. Let them figure it out because, again, if you allow this person to come in, with the Ten of Swords, uh, betrayal, broke, broke down, broken down, rock bottom. Your ass gonna be right with them, okay? We have the Seven of Swords here as well, too, with deceit, scamming, cheating. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're gonna feel very defeated, Five of Swords, if you let this person in your life because, oh, that's my family. Like I said, I don't give two flying fucks who it is. <laughs> The answer is no. You got a Capricorn you might be dealing with. We read it for Scorpio and Taurus. Capricorn may be involved. A Gemini might be involved. And then one more. Uh, Sagittarius might be involved. So these might be the signs that come to you to ask you for assistance. Or these per these people or person may just have this in, your, in their birth chart. Okay? Or you may have it in your birth chart. So just take it how it resonates. All right? So, if that resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, until next time, Scorpio and Taurus. Mwah. Peace.